What in the actual ever-loving f just happened? I can't even believe that this video is happening right now. Despite all the lawsuits, despite all the criminal activity, the fraud, the embezzlement, despite the fact that a judge is likely going to rule against the NRA and assign a babysitter based on the fact that Wayne has remained in charge this whole time, the NRA board just voted to re-elect Wayne LaPierre as CEO and executive VP. And they officially declared anyone not devoted to Wayne as a hater. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I'm sorry, but to me, this just proves that the entire board is either corrupt or stupid. You heard the intro correctly, ladies and gentlemen. If you missed my last NRA video, check it out. The gist is, there is currently a motion to strip Wayne and some of his buddies of their power at the NRA and assign the organization a court-appointed caretaker that will report directly to the New York Attorney General, all because Wayne has stayed in charge of the NRA, ejecting anyone who gets in his way, and yet the board just voted 54 to 1 to keep him. Seven members decided not to vote, but otherwise it was completely smooth sailing for Wayne LaPierre. Not only that, but the organization put out a statement saying that the grassroots pleas for Lieutenant Colonel West to be elected was merely a takeover campaign, and that the board vote was preceded by a resolution overwhelmingly passed by NRA members on May 29, 2022, that declared support, past, present, and future for LaPierre. I'm feeling extra, extra powerful today. Oh, I'm sorry, is the NRA a LaPierre cult now? Excuse me, are y'all with the cult? You know what they sound like? They sound like the government. Big, ugly government that ignores its constituents in favor of controlling a sinking ship rather than let anyone else try to keep it afloat. Anyone who thinks Wayne deserves to stay in control is either corrupt, dumb, or not paying attention. This was likely the NRA's last chance to fix things both in the eyes of the judge presiding over the case and its members. The newest amendment in the case directly references the fact that Wayne hasn't been removed as the reason to continue litigation. The board might think that this looks like some united front against what they call a political witch hunt, but what it really looks like is that they don't give a shit about the Second Amendment or any of their members. You know who else was reelected? John Frazier, another defendant in the lawsuit who was also embezzling funds. The end of the statement includes a quote from Charles Cotton. The NRA stands strong, safe, and secure. We have never been better positioned to protect the Second Amendment or lend our collective voices in support of important issues like school security. That, my friends, is a flat-out lie. I'd argue it likely that the NRA has never been in a worse position and never been less secure. People are ditching their memberships left and right and flocking to organizations like Gun Owners of America, National Association of Gun Rights, and the Firearms Policy Coalition. In fact, membership is the lowest it's been since 2017. And a lot of it is because of the controversy and scandal surrounding LaPierre. According to The Reload, NRA revenue has been cut in half, while legal fees now account for 20% of the group's expenses, an amount that is 10 times what it spent on education and training, competitive shooting, law enforcement, community engagement, the NRA range, NRA Firearms Museum, and school security combined. The ongoing lawsuit has a special clause that would prohibit the NRA from fundraising in New York despite being registered and headquartered in New York. Meanwhile, there is a new onslaught of gun control proposals on the horizon while the NRA is basically bleeding out its ass between all the legal costs and the money upper management has been stealing out of the cookie jar. And yet, with all of these failures, Wayne continues to be paid $1.8 million a year. That's about $34,000 a week, my friends, and continues to beg average Americans for money in a dying, hyperinflated economy. 
makes me wonder how many of those board members were being paid to vote that way. It's already come out that Wayne was rigging elections. This was not the time to pussyfoot around, and yet that's exactly what happened. As the Washington Examiner noted, the nonprofit group is only effective if gun owners have any faith in its ability to protect their rights. In recent years, that faith has been diminishing. And you know what? They're not wrong. I just still can't believe it. Keeping Wayne in charge was absolute political suicide, both for the organization and its members and gun rights in general. At this point, we can only hope that whoever the judge appoints as babysitter doesn't have a secret agenda of driving the NRA into the dirt any more than it already is. The good thing, at least, is that the lawsuit would also kick out LaPierre and his co-conspirators. Because at this point, it's clear that Wayne and the board are holding the NRA hostage and he'll have to be pried out of the NRA's cold, dead hands. That's it for today's rant. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're new here, drop a comment, and check out any of the organizations I mentioned if you're feeling disheartened. If you liked this video and want to support the channel in other ways, I have Patreon, Subscribestar, and a tip jar down in the description. Also, apparently YouTube has awarded me with some new thing called Super Thanks, and that is supposed to be super. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and as always, stay safe and happy shooting.